A family in the South Bay is mourning the killing of a man during a fight in San Jose. KTVU South Bay reporter Jesse Gary explains the tools investigators are using to try to track down who's responsible. Monday evening, friends and family placed candles, flowers, and pictures of Eduardo Lalo Perez at a memorial in East San Jose. They say he's the man killed Sunday during a bar fight. You know, it's really hard for the family, really hard for me. Like, I'm heartbroken. Like, he was my little brother, the only brother I had. And we're, like, we're going through a lot of pain right now. They say the 21-year-old construction worker and painter was at the Taco Al Carbone Bar and Grill around 1.50 in the morning when a disturbance inside erupted into an all-out brawl. Yeah, I'm doing really bad. Um, I, don't, I don't see myself without him. You know, it's, it, it's been a lot of years that we've been together. But I'm hanging on there for him, you know, because I know he would want me to be strong and continue my life. Investigators say the brawl spilled into the parking lot of the sprawling Plaza de San Jose shopping complex in East San Jose. Police detectives say Lalo was literally beaten to death during the melee and fell to the ground on Story Road near the intersection of King Road. Responding officers performed CPR, but he was pronounced dead at the scene. That male was beaten. Uh, punches, kicks, uh, a lot of witnesses uh, reported seeing different things. Uh, that victim was chased through the parking lot over to Story Road, uh, where the beating continued. Very chaotic scene, a lot of witnesses, more than one suspect. Uh, homicide detectives are continuing to work that case. The initial investigation Sunday impacted area businesses with some workers saying this isn't the first time there's been trouble at this late night bar and grill. I guess on the weekends, you know, people get drunk, they drink a lot and um, they just a uh, problem starts and they start fighting outside. Not usually inside bars, but they take it outside and it's, and it's an issue. Investigators are hopeful surveillance video coupled with witness accounts of what happened will lead to the wanted suspects in the city's 23rd homicide of the year. All I want is for justice to be served and people to be brave enough to and come forward, you know, who witness and to say, you know, because he deserves justice, he didn't deserve this. Family and friends say they've set up a GoFundMe page to help raise funds for a funeral. In East San Jose, Jesse Gary, KTVU, Fox 2 News.